everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations. So, let's get going. Problem solve x squared is equal minus x d plus 2 into y equals to x log x. So, we are given a differential equation with variable equations. Now, we are going to reduce this to a differential equation with constant equations by making some substitution. And also, we are given a Cauchy's equation. given Cauchy's equation x squared d squared minus x d plus 2 into y equal to x log x. Now let's make the substitution. Put x equals to e power z then log x to the base e equal to z. Okay for x there then 0. Let Theta equals to d by dz here. Theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. Then xd equal to theta. x squared d squared equal to theta of theta minus 1. Now the above equation becomes replace x squared d squared by theta of theta minus 1. We will get theta of theta minus 1 minus replace xd by theta plus 2 into y equal to replace x by e power z and log x by z. Okay. This becomes theta square minus theta minus theta plus 2 into y equal to z into e power z. Then theta square minus theta minus theta is minus 2 theta plus 2 into y equal to z into e power z. So we have reduced the given differential equation with variable questions to a differential equation with constant equations, right? And also, this is an operator form f of theta into y equals to some function of z. Now, we need to find the general solution of the given equation, which is given by y equal to yc plus yp. So, we'll find yc and yp firstly, okay? Fine. Now, coming to the problem, which is an operator form. f of theta into y equals to some function of z where f of theta equal to theta square minus 2 theta plus 2. Now let's find yc using auxiliary equation and later we'll go for yp. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to we are having f of theta theta square minus 2 theta plus 2 right. Let's replace differential operator theta by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m square minus 2m plus 2. Then our auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 2m plus 2 equal to 0, right? Now we need to find the roots of this equation. So we'll find the roots of this equation using quartic formula m equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a, right? Now compare this equation with quartic equation in m. We will get a equals to 1, b equal to minus 2, c equals to 2. Now place these values in m, the formula. We will get minus of minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 whole square minus 4 into 1 into 2 by 2 into 1, which is equals to minus into minus plus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 2 whole square is 4. Minus 4 to the 8 by 2, right? Then m equal to 2 plus r minus square root of 4 minus 8 is minus 4 by 2. Now we can write minus 4 as minus 1 into 4 by 2. Now split this square root as 
square root of minus 1 into square root of 4 by 2. Since we know that square root of minus 1 is i and square root of 4 is 2, we will get 2 plus or minus i into 2 by 2. Now take 2 common in the numerator. Okay. We will take 2 common from the 2 terms of numerator. We will get 2 times 1 plus or minus i by 2. Here 2 gets cancelled. We will get 1 plus or minus i. A pair of complex conjugate roots. So when m square minus 2m plus 2 equals to 0, m equal to 1 plus or minus i. Therefore, m equal to 1 plus or minus i, a pair of complex conjugate roots. We know that a plus ib is a complex number, then its conjugate is a minus ib. Likewise, a minus ib is a complex number and its conjugate is a plus ib. So, we call a plus r minus ib as a pair of complex conjugate roots. So, when we get m equals to a plus r minus ib, then y c looks like e power a z into c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz. Now let's write our complementary function using this formula. Y C equal to just compare I one plus or minus I with A plus or minus I B then for A equal to one and B equal to one we'll get e power 1 into z into c1 cos 1 into z plus c2 sine 1 into z, right? This equals to e power z into c1 cos z plus c2 sine z. See, we are having yc in terms of z, but we need to write in terms of x. So, we will replace e power z by x and z by log x. Then yc becomes, replace e power z by x, we will get x into c1 cos, replace z by log x, we will get cos of log x plus c2 sine of log x. So these are required by C. Let's now find Yp. Particular integral. We'll find particular integral using 1 by f of theta into q of z. We are having f of theta and q of z. Where f of theta is x square, sorry. Theta square minus 2 theta plus 2. And Q of Z is Z into E power Z. Right? Or we can write it as 1 by theta square minus 2 theta plus 2 into E power Z into Z. So this is of 1 by F of theta into E power A Z into V form. Okay? So, we will shift e power a z towards left by replacing theta with theta plus a. And later we will operate v with 1 by f of theta plus a. Right? Now, just compare e power z with e power a z. Then for a equal to 1, we will find d plus, sorry, theta plus a which is equal to theta plus 1. Now, just replace, sorry, Shift e power z towards left by replacing theta with theta plus 1. We will get theta plus 1 whole square minus 2 times theta plus 1 plus 2 into z. This is equals to e power z into 1 by expand theta plus 1 whole square. We will get theta square plus 1 plus 2 theta minus 2 theta minus 2 plus 2 into z. Here minus 2 plus 2 gets cancelled. 2 theta minus 2 theta gets cancelled and we will get yp equal to 
e power z into 1 by theta square plus 1 into z. Or we can write it as e power z into 1 by 1 plus theta square into z. Say this fraction is of 1 by 1 plus x form. We can write it as 1 plus x whole inverse, right? So we can write this fraction as 1 plus theta square whole inverse into z. Now we'll expand 1 plus theta square whole inverse using 1 plus x whole inverse formula. Binomial series expansion 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus so on. So before applying this formula, we'll find derivatives of z. Theta of z is 1. Theta square of z is 0. Theta cube of z is 0. Likewise, in general, we'll get theta of k of z equals to 0 for k equal to 2, 3 and so on. Right? I'll show this too. Theta square of z can be written as theta of theta of z. Right? We know that theta is a differential operator with independent variable z. So, derivative of z with respect to z is 1, right? Again, derivative of a constant with respect to z is 0. So, we will get theta square of z is 0. Likewise, theta of, we can write theta cube of z as theta of theta square of z. Since theta square of z is 0, so this will be 0. Right? Derivative of some constant. Consider it as constant with respect to z is 0. Let's now expand 1 plus theta square whole inverse by keeping this in mind. Okay? For x equals to theta square, we'll get 1 minus theta square plus theta square whole square minus theta cube. Sorry. Theta square whole cube plus so on. We know that a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n, right? So, we will get, or we can write theta square whole square as theta power 2 2 is a 4 minus theta power 2 3 is a 6 plus so on. If you notice, we are having higher derivatives theta square, theta power 4, theta power 6 and so on, right? So, we can neglect all the terms from here because theta power k of z is 0 for k equal to 2 3, right? So, derivatives of z from 2 power 2 is 0. So, we can negate all the terms from here, right? Now, coming to yp, we can write yp as expansion of 1 plus theta square whole inverse is 1 minus theta square plus theta square whole square minus theta square whole q plus so on into z. This equals to e power z into 1 minus theta square plus theta square whole square is theta power 4 minus theta power 6 plus so on into z. Since theta power k of z equals to 0 for k equal to 2, 3 and so on. So neglect Higher derivatives, theta square, theta cube and so on. So this becomes e power z into, we are going to negate all the terms from here. Okay, then we will get 1 into z. This equals to e power z into z. Right? Now, we are having yp equal to e power z into z. Right? But, this is in in terms of z but we need in terms of x so what we'll do is we'll just replace e power z by x and z by log x then yp becomes x into log x right so we got yp and yc let's now write the general solution of the given problem The general solution is given by y equal to yc plus yp. Then y equal to we have yc x times c1 cos of log x plus c2 sin of 
log x and yp is x log x. So this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.